Hello, welcome along to our channel. I have ordered on Sainsbury's online shop to be delivered today. I did it late last night because I got an email through a £12 off an £80 shop because I haven't shopped with them for a few weeks because I've been shopping at Aldi to try and save some money. So with a £12 voucher, I felt I was justified to get the shopping delivered here and it gave me a morning, a free, up, free morning while Teddy was at nursery to get some editing done while Florence slept. So Teddy is now back from home from nursery having a nap and Florence is up playing with Tupperware in the kitchen. So I apologise for any noise that she's going to make. And I'm just going to show you what I've got with my Sainsbury's shop with the £12 voucher off and a, but with a slightly ex more expensive delivery fee of £5 because I lacked any organisation and time to get it cheaper. And so I hope you enjoy our video. So I've got a tub of Cornish ice cream, a packet of chalk, uh, chalk ices. They're pretty cheap rather than getting ice creams. They're quite cheap and my kids like them. And this is a really good value. I'll tell you in a minute when I look at the receipt. It's... 30, thank you Flo, 30 um, fish fingers, they last us a reasonable amount of time. And then underneath there, the other thing I had to get for the freezer was a packet of salmon fillet. Enough vegetables and other things in the freezer currently. So the fish fingers were £2.80 for 30. Um, and they're really nice fish fingers, we've had them quite a few times, so I'm pleased with that. So the rest of the food is as follows we have some no added cheerios as last week i said that i like these ones and um, well less not no added sugar cheerios they are less than five percent sugar oat cheerios i prefer them to the other um brands that are out there so i have we have got those this week we didn't need any other cereal so i haven't topped up any more i've got a big heinz tomato sauce a seems just basics because i don't really care if it's got a picture on for the price of kitchen towels Again, these are fine, we've used these before. We've got almond milk, a large peanut butter, a garlic melon, kitchen foil, a big apple juice. This is a really good size. I think it's like 1.75 litres. This will last my kids a week of breakfast because just really for name, Daisy have it. And Daisy's not here a couple of times and Teddy only has a tiny bit here and there. Then... I've got a couple of toiletries. I've got a shower gel. I think that's only about 80 90p. It's not expensive. I really like this if I'm running it low of any nice moisturizer. It's just a good everyday one. I've had it before, sheer butter, and it's fine. It's nice. That was on offer, so I got that just to top up on my toiletries. Two delicious blueberry wafers because Florence really loves those. I might have to give her one now to keep it quiet. Thank you. I've got blueberries, a packet of. Two packets of strawberries. They look really nice strawberries as well in there. Packet of ripening fruit ball nectarines. The fruit is more expensive than Aldi's fruit, but it's good quality when it arrives, pretty much, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I've got a little gem lettuce, a bag of baby spinach, a bag of carrots, a courgette, a red pepper, a bag of family pack tomatoes, they were a pound, so that's good for those. A bag of um, ripe avocados, two pack. Loads of bananas, because we get through loads of bananas. And a butternut squash for our healthy stuff. Then for meats and for meals and things, I've got the heck sausages. They're really good, because they're 97%. And so they'll be for a, a meal, when it's probably just me and the kids, because there's only six in there, so it'll just be maybe a hot dog night or something. I've got a bag of chicken, fill um, a tray of chicken fillets and a tray of chicken goujons because we've got salmon in the freezer and I'm doing some vegetarian meals like I always do during the week as well. I've got basmati rice, pasta stars, these are great for babies and my others love them as well. I've done sausage casserole, which I might do those sausages and you put that in the casserole slow cooker and my kids love it with a tomato vegetable sauce. I've got black beans for a vegetarian meal we have about a, a tin of Sainsbury's basic pineapple pieces they'll either be shoved in some baking or given when I've run out of fruits just a, a good store cupboard added extra a packet of tortilla wraps which I will do the black bean I'll probably do black bean wraps with those a loaf of bread which we've already tucked into home meal again I'll have to go and get more bread to survive the week and I've got rolls in the freezer for, for emergencies for lunches anyway 
a bag of pom bears. I've got they've got a 14 pack for two pounds, so I'll grab those. A huge big bag of fusy pasta, which was I think it's a kilogram, was one pound twenty. It is a kilogram, so that's good. And it's nice pasta. I have a tin of beetroot just to add to salads. A pot of the Yeo Valley banana custard. These are on offer for a pound the Yeo Valley. My kids really like the banana and custard yogurts. They find it yummy. I've got two pots of strawberry because again they're on a pound. And a packet of the little Yeo's for Florence to have little fromage fries. And then a, a pot of low fat natural yogurt to stick in smoothies. I don't care if it's basic because it's going in smoothies. I've been told it's quite a good yogurt. I've yet to try it out. We'll try it out today and a tub of soft cheese again this is absolutely fine my kids have this in sandwiches and they're happy with it an extra butter to top up because i'm always baking and use butter a lot um then i've got a huge basics cheddar I normally buy the supermarket brand rather than basics and decided to try and be a bit um budget a bit ready for the holidays and so i've got this huge big i'm gonna say a kilogram and it is yeah kilogram packet of mature ch cheddar so hopefully that'll be okay you could always i suppose put some in the freezer if you don't want to use it but we'll get through it all i'm pretty sure a packet of breaded ham and for treats we've got a packet of twirls which will be probably for dougie and i here and there maybe the kids will have a bit of nice stick and ice cream and some biscuits full biscuit barrel up the basics variety of shortbreads nice biscuits custard creams and bourbon Mini breadsticks to stick in pat lunches with anything that I'm going to do, maybe cubes of cheese or anything. Then behind here we do have a lot of yoghurt as I've said before. We have one, two, three, four basics from our spray. Use these all the time. The kids are happy with them. They're not fluorescent colours. They are nice and not too sweet. They're absolutely fine for the kids. Got husband has got, Dougie's got rubus tea, Earl Grey caffeine free for himself coffee pods although i'm going to need some more i thought i'd put two in and i need to put one in a small milk because he wants to take some away with him because we get our milk delivered so he's had to take a small get a small milk for going away and a packet of smoothies for our fussy child so she can have them in packed lunches because she doesn't have fruit so she has carrots or spinach and then that's just an added extra to put in some days to change it up and then dougie has also got the basics jar of honey to take away because it was pound and but i prefer the squeezy jar to prefer to spend a little bit more and get the squeezy jar so he's got that to take away the only other thing florence careful the only other thing i got was a bag of cherry tomatoes now this the butternut squash is lying on this so they're squashed inside a few of them are damaged so what i will do is i will ring up sainsbury's online and normally when there's a, um, something like this happens they refund you and give you a little voucher to say sorry so i will hopefully we'll find out what happens to those but i'll definitely ring because it's annoying when something like that happens um it won't take two minutes to make a phone call it's easier than going to the shop and going around the shop with two kids so that was it and of course so i had the 12 pound voucher off and you get nectar points on it still and so my total was the shop came to 102 pounds 76 this includes five pound delivery fee of which yes i shouldn't have paid i should have been more time and money savvy florence florence are you in the tupperware i should have been more time and money savvy savvy and ordered it when it was a pound rather than five pound or got a delivery pass but i didn't so that includes a delivery fee which which if you didn't have you wouldn't be paying that then i had 12 pounds off so it came to i'm going to try to do this without showing my credit card details came to 90 pounds 76 so that's pretty good including my expensive delivery fee of five pounds so that's not bad hopefully there's a reasonable amount no idea if there's more or less of less than last week possibly a little bit less but i've got more yogurt which is good because i never have enough yogurt otherwise 
and I don't have to go to the shop. So yes, if you could hear that shop with Florence and her Tupperware on the floor, then marvellous. I don't know if that'll last as long as the Aldi one did. Hopefully it will, because I've got a good freezer like I did last week. Still got a good freezer stock and still got stuff in the cupboard. So hopefully it will suffice. And I think that was pretty good value because I got the £12 off. I'm probably going to try a cardo at some point soon because I keep getting sent £20 vouchers for them. So that will be good. And hopefully I can keep doing this, switching them. And then just sort of updating everybody as I go, go along on how much it's costing me and see we could maybe see some sort of pattern and how much I'm getting and whether it's lasting. If we were all in, I'd probably need a little bit more than this. But as we're not all here all the time this is enough because obviously it's busy end of term so not everybody's always here i did forget one thing i got 12 large eggs so i got a dozen large eggs so i didn't put those on free range as well so that was missing from the shop i would already use them for some scrambled egg so anyway i hope these food hauls are what you're enjoying and looking for i'm getting a bit more comfortable with doing them and we'll be doing some more as I've just said. So thank you very much for watching. Please like this video if you've liked it. Please subscribe to our channel and hope everybody has a good weekend. Bye-bye.